Hello and welcome. So, there's going to get to a point where you need to make explosives in this game. It is absolutely necessary for you to make explosives, and I'm going to show you how. It's not as hard as you might think, but before I continue, hit that subscribe button so that you get told when I upload more videos like this, and if you're not cool with subscribing, then hit that thumbs up instead, and then YouTube will push content to you when it feels that it's relevant. Right, so why do we need explosives? So, explosives become necessary in the point of the game where, first of all, you may want to blow up someone else's front gate, and that's cool. If you're not playing on a PvP server, you want to do PvE, it still becomes necessary because there's times within the game that you need these explosives in order to progress. So there's one particular boss who lives in a stronghold which has gates which need blowing up. So if you want to check out that video and see which boss that is, then the link will be in the description, in the cards, on the end screen, I don't know, it'll be somewhere, you'll figure it out. Anyway, in order to make these explosives, it's quite a simple process, but you need to ensure that you follow the correct steps. So you're going to need an alchemy table. This is the end of the, of the route, essentially. So you can make an, a minor explosive box, and this requires sulfur, planks, and whetstones. Now, in order to unlock the alchemy table, you're going to need to kill one of the bosses. So you need to kill Clive, the fire starter, in order to do this. Now, if you want to see what his fight looks like, then go check out my video on Clive the Firestarter. I'm going to link that somewhere in the video. But essentially, killing him allows you to unlock the alchemy table, the sulfur recipe, and the minor explosives box. Now, while we're looking at sulfur, what I will say is, do not neglect collecting this. Collect this whenever you see it, because it just seems to be lacking in abundance, and you feel like you're going to need it quite a lot. You know, it, it's going to take a lot of sulfur to make one explosives, right? So if you see it, grab it. Now, the other thing that we're looking at that we're going to need, so we need planks. We know how to get planks by this stage, I'm sure, because you've made a load of things by this point. Um, but essentially, that is trees going into the sawmill. Um, and then whetstones. These typically can be collected. However, they're a pain, and you, it's not a very reliable source. If you think, right, I need to get this this explosive done ASAP, and then you're trailing around bandit camps, that's not a good, a good thing to be doing. So what I would say is unlock the whetstone recipe. Now, you make your whetstones here, and so you need copper ingots and stone dust. Now, I expect that you'll have a lot of stone dust by this point from making bricks for your wall, so that's never something you need to worry about. Copper, it's just about managing your resources. Copper is quite frequent in the world, Grab it when you see it, but don't worry too much about it. And that will give you your whetstones. But where do you get the whetstone recipe from? Again, you need to kill a boss. And in this case, it's Grayson, the armorer that you need to kill. And he will give you, amongst other things, the whetstone recipe. So if you want to see how to kill this particular boss, again, there'll be a video linked somewhere, which you'll be able to, to find that particular boss. So essentially, that is everything that you need in order to get to that point. And it, it's quite simple, but it's a little bit frustrating. And what I would say is just plan out your journey. Know exactly where you need to be and how to get there. And that's basically, that's basically it. So yeah, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this in the future.